Sports are one of the world's great equalizers. No matter where you come from or what language you speak, when you step onto the field, the track, or the court, you have an opportunity to put your skills to the test. No sport is growing faster around the world than basketball. From South America to Africa, children are learning the game, hoping to be the next superstar. But to be the best, they need to play against the best. There are players from all around the world that want to compete at the highest level and play in the ACC. It's global. You can go everywhere to get a really good player. Coaches are starting to see the impact that these guys can have on your team. It's a special commitment to leave your family, to come to a different country to pursue your dream. It's always a dream to play in the best conference, have a chance to showcase your skill and what you can do. You think that everything will come easy, but that's not how it was. Coming from New Zealand, guys are physical and strong, but just the skill and athleticism the players had here, I was amazed. Everything was fast. I was big enough. I was tall, but at the same time, I didn't have the size, you know, the weight. There's all kinds of different rules. I started kicking the balls when every time I made a mistake. I was so anxious to do well. I knew it was going to be tough straight away. I'm going through a bit of adversity, trying to find my spot, adjusting to the American game. That level of competition is really going to bring you up. That's really prepared me for this tournament. Coming in the ACC tournament, big opportunity. A lot of people would like to be in that position. From this point on, it's 40-minute territory, so you win or go home and just kind of mentally prepare myself for the battle. Seeing the stadium be filled up with fans, the big time stage. We're looking at this tournament as a big opportunity for us to hang a banner up. The goal of every team is to win the tournament. This is my last shot. I gotta make good use of it. We feel like this is a new beginning. Anything is possible in this tournament. <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina, middle 60s, so a pleasant day outside, and we are ready for a high noon game inside the Spectrum Center. It's tournament time in Charlotte, North Carolina. As players, coaches, and fans from around the world arrive to see who will be crowned champion. Everyone's excited to get things started. The first game of the tournament features the 12th seed Miami Hurricanes and the 13th seed Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Both teams possess international talent, like Wake's French phenom Jalen Horde and the Canes Australian sharpshooter DJ Vasilovich. This is a track meet. This is about speed. The game begins when the shot goes up defensively. We must rebound. Are you ready to go out and play the ACC tournament? Let's go. Hook over to Vesilovic on the left wing with eight to shoot. Vesilovic rises for three, swish. As soon as I see one go into that, like my eyes get bigger and bigger. I want the ball more. Johnson has it for Miami. Johnson slithers into the paint, kicks it out to Wardenberg. Vasilovic for three. Good! DJ Vasilovic! You just have to stay calm. You get your teammates in the huddle. Tell them, you know, like they made a run, we can make ours as well. Much resistance at all. Wake out to Ford for three. Got it. Ahead to Childress. Inside Torrey Johnson. Lay it. Good foul called Miami. Here come the Demon Deeks. Intercepted his pass, intercepted by Johnson. Drag race to the rim. Jensen with a one-handed Tomahawk jam. It was a very hard-fought game by both teams. March Madness, it's win in advance, lose and go home. We're just happy we won. After a seven-game losing streak, Notre Dame sank to the bottom of the ACC standing. They faced off against the 10-seed Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, 
The Irish struggled to score all season, but at tournament time, everything's different. On over and out of Goodwin. Goodwin on over to Gibbs, left foul line extended. Deep three from there, got it! Notre Dame was just incredible the first half. They were like the Golden State Warriors. Probably the best half of basketball they played all year long. They really came out and they punched us in the mouth. I mean, they were shooting an amazing percentage. They're on the way is good for John Mooney, the third team all season. We know we're a good team and we can fight back. And that's what we did in that second half. Chances are on to right screen. Back over to Moses for a 13-footer. Good. A defensive rebound. Banks, two-hand dunk. Lead more. Three right corner. Got it! 107 to play at 72-69. Only up three, and we needed a bucket to hold them off. Hub, top of the key, gets it to Mooney. We went to Johnny Mooney as our best player. Mooney, jumper, left side, got it! Wow, Mooney comes through again. Notre Dame lives to play again in the ACC tournament. Their seven-game losing streak is over. They beat Georgia Tech 78-71. The final game of the day features the Boston College Eagles against the Pitt Panthers. BC will need big performances from their leaders, Nick Popovich and Kai Bowman, to make a deep run in this tournament. It took a lot of hard work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to where I am right now. It's an incredible opportunity to be here to play. I was born in Bosnia, a city called Banja and then when I turned 18, I moved to America. For college, I played one year in high school. I didn't know my next step after high school, and then all these coaches started coming, and I've got a lot of D1 offers. We saw a hardworking kid, really good student, and really great potential for our basketball team. Once I came to BC, it just kind of felt right, but I was so anxious to do well. I did get in a lot of trouble, Serbian basketball is a little different. It's kind of wild. I started kicking the balls, and coach was like, oh my god. He was always telling me to calm down. In the ACC, you're playing against the very best players in the world. I'm not sure how many of them come in and understand how difficult that's going to be. When I came to Boston College, it was hard at the beginning. I don't have any friends. After like a few months, I met Kai. Everybody knew two of us as Kai and Nico because we spent all the time together. And he made the game way easier for me. He understood what I want to do, and then he understood the way I play and the way I respond to mistakes and good stuff. Me and Nico have been here from our freshman year. The ups and downs that we had, the wins that we could have had, and knowing what we can do better to help our team win, it's going to be big for us this year. I just know it's my time. That's what helps me play the game. That's my motivation. BC's Popovich wins the tip. And the ACC postseason first round for Boston College underway. And a pump fake pass to Popovich. Left baseline, 16-footer. And Popovich rattles it in. Good start for Nico right there. A nice, clean 15-footer. Pass underneath it to the baseline, Popovich soaring in. First five minutes, we struggled to think nerves a little bit. You have to have great communication in order for five guys to play together as one. And that's kind of what we talked about there in that first timeout. Here comes Pitt out of the timeout. Wilson frame a deep three, and he got it. McGowan's right sideline, gets around a man, drives all the way and reverse layup score. And the Panthers with a dozen point lead. Our defense was tremendous. It just changed the energy for us. Panthers double the post man, and now he comes back in there. Steal by oh. X man. The Panthers have a two on two. It took a lot of hard work to get to where I am right now, and anything is possible in this tournament. I have to do everything to help my team win. Popovich takes a three from the top and makes it. Popovich coming back, trailing by 16. Pull up, top of the key for a three. It's good. BC has made six straight shots. Here we go. It's cross midcourt, Jared Hamilton. The left corner, Popovich. Three-point shot. Barely grazed the rim, a miss. Rebound tip to Chapman in the lane. Shot, no good. Rebound, Jared Hamilton. I think it's settling in that this might be his last game. The clock ticked to triple zeros, and the season ends for Boston College in frustrating fashion.
it's really hard right now to talk about it, you know, because, you know, we should have won. We're a better team. We missed our opportunity, you know. It's really hard. It's day two. Five new teams joined the fight for the ACC crown. Clemson and North Carolina State face off in the first game of the second round. Last time these two teams met. Chance for NC State to win it. Beverly for the win. Got it! Unbelievable! It's a high stakes matchup in the ACC tournament. Eighth seeded NC State, ninth seeded Clemson. It's a huge game. We can pull this out and uh, get a victory here. It'll propel us and give us uh, a signature win. It's high stakes today. <laughs> we need this win terribly bad. Thomas wins the tip, and here we go. Three, top of the key, step back, three point. The jumper good over Bryce. Double team back to Sims, left corner, shot clock at five, shoots for three, and he hits. Everybody's hit threes now for Clemson. And have opened up an 18-6 lead here with 14 minutes to go first half. Just incredible. Our guys played extremely well in the first half. We got into space and made good penetration and passes off of penetration that opened up good shots for us and we knocked them down. By White throws to the screener on the pick and roll and he jams it. And there's the horn and that's the half. Uh, 42 to 26. This is a tough test now, the final 20 minutes, but State has proven all year long that it can come back. Coming into this game, we knew what kind of fight we was going to be in. We knew that we had to get stopped and lay down the stretch. Our guys have no quit in them. When I looked in their eyes, I knew that they were going to come out and fight. Man to man defense. Johnson steps back on Scar. Shoots and hits a three. Trap left wing and has the ball knocked away and stolen by Beverly. Johnson, couple of dribbles, shoots over Reed for three and he buries it. You know, we didn't play as well in the second half offensively. Clemson's missed 14 straight shots. 16 seconds left in the game, stayed down by one. Beverly gives it up to Johnson. At the end of the game, I want the ball in my hand. That's something that I told Coach Key. 11, 10, here's Johnson, right sideline, picks up his dribble, gets it to Beverly, back to Johnson, six seconds left. Johnson, middle of the floor. Johnson driving, shoots it off balance, runner, he's fouled! And Markel Johnson is gonna get two free throws with the pack trailing by one. Seven up to the line. You know, I hit the first one. They call a timeout. This is a huge free throw, biggest of the season for Markel Johnson with 2.6 seconds remaining. Johnson's free throw, good, 59-58. Here's the yeah. inbounds pass, it'll come to Reed. Karma, that was really going through my mind. We won a game the first time that we got lucky on, so um, this time I feel like they're gonna get lucky. Two, one, Reed launched it, good if it goes. no good. Another barn burner between State and Clemson. Second time this year the game went right down the wire. That was the second largest comeback in ACC history. Great win for us and uh, we survive in advance. NC State just erased an 18-point deficit and took the air out of the Spectrum Center and the life out of the Clemson Tigers wow. as they eliminate Clemson. Hokies are trying to advance against the Miami Hurricane to take on number four seed Florida State. Virginia Tech got off to a great start right out of the blocks. They jumped on us. Into the corner, Outlaw for three and good. Comes back on the flare for Outlaw. Another three for Ty and a three in a row from Ty. Yes, indeed. Outlaw back to back to back. Hurricanes have to go into the recovery mode when they come out for the second twenty. They're ACC team, so they know how to win. They know how to play from behind, so they came out with great energy. Lights with a nice move right, left, pulls up. Oh, a Zundu with a one-handed jam! Next with the Zundu back to Lights, trifecta, good! And Chris Lakes is heating up. Second half, we were actually able to cut the lead down to seven. By Wardenberg, back out to we Lawrence. had a wide open three. Lawrence, trifecta straight on in and out! We missed it. They went on a 7-0 run, it was back up to 14. That really took the air out of our balloon. Now to Blackshear, right wing three by Blackshear, good. Final seconds tick off the clock, and that's all. Hokie 71, Miami 56. That's your final score. Hurricane season will come to an end in Charlotte, North Carolina. 
Coming off a barn-burning first round, Mooney and the Irish are ready to take on the seventh seed Louisville Cardinals. Will Mooney bring the luck his team needs to make a deep tournament run? John Mooney, who now has 21 double-doubles in his career. Mooney is obviously one of our main focuses. Now Mooney wins the tip. Notre Dame has a chance to score first. So we're just playing tough, you know, not letting them back down. Bully us in the paint. Puts it on the floor, spins into the lane. It's a jump hook. He's, he pushed him about a foot and a half. For him to go three for 18. Really took the life out of Notre Dame. Goodwin left foul line extended. Inside Mooney, and his duck attempt is blocked by Williams. Tough season is over for Notre Dame. They lose it, 75-53. As the luck runs out for Notre Dame, Syracuse and senior center Pascal Chukwu wait in the wings to take on the Pitt Panthers, who are coming off a convincing first-round win. We were really excited, you know, coming out there, seeing we had a lot of fans, seeing everybody cheering. Everybody was just hyped. My God, I didn't see that of them. I got family, I got people up there watching. Growing up, I know of basketball, but I never actually paid attention to basketball. Everything around me was all about soccer, so I grew up playing soccer. But being so tall, my family and I figured that there is a chance for me to be more successful playing basketball than soccer. And after only nine months playing basketball, I came to the United States. America was the land of opportunities, and I was really excited to come here. In the beginning, you think that everything will come easy, but that's not how it was. I was lost because I didn't know anybody. Since I came to the United States, I haven't actually been back to Nigeria. I've been speaking to my family on the phone, and it was tough for me. First time at Pascal was Thanksgiving time. He ate dinner with us, and we offered our house as a home. So he bunked with me. We got to know each other real well, real quickly. Having Ray as a sibling closer to my age really helped me adjust. When you finally get to that point where you're like, okay, now I can relax, then what next? I came on a court and I seen this guy that was 7'2 and just big, and I was just like, holy smoke. Like, who is that kid? But when you come to the ACC, on a night in and night out basis, the guys that you're going up against, athletically, they were stronger than him. I never lifted weights before I came here. So uh, this past summer, that's something I really try to change. Syracuse's expectation for me is to be a defensive stalker. He can cover a lot of ground. Defensively, he's the anchor. He's almost mastered the position. We're in the Spectrum Center here at Charlotte, hosting the ACC tournament again in the orange. They take on the Pitt Panthers. Darrell Brown will be jumping center against Pascal Chuku, the tallest player in Syracuse history. Kicks it right wing to Tony. Wilson frame on the wing, goes up top, puts up a three. It's down. Frame has always hurt us, and uh, he, he certainly did tonight. Back to City, 11 to shoot. Penetrates, kicks it outside. Wilson Frame hits another three. He's five for five. Do it. Pretty much getting everything they wanted. Brown out to Wilson Frame. He hits a three ball. Rebound at the buzzer. Panthers have it, and they have the lead by six at the half. Good half for the Panthers. In the second half, they made adjustments in their zone. They obviously had a little bit more of an awareness for Jared. And that kind of plays into them. They kind of lead you into Chuku, and he cleaned up a lot of stuff in there. Drive Johnson right in the lane. Two hands stuffed by Chuku, loose to Johnson underneath. Johnson turned away again by Pascal under the backboard. When they get the ball down there, those blocks made them actually think twice. It's a rebound, oh. but he rejected. Block number six by Pascal. You know, when you lose your best player, it's, somebody has to step up, and Pascal did a good job. Pass Behar, you should have shot it. They have the foul line. Back rim, no tip is there. And one for Pascal. What a second half for Pascal Chuku. And that should do it. Orange win this one 73-59. Their defense met. 
was just suffocating that whole second half. It mean the world to me to get ACC championship in my final season. To be able to go back to Nigeria and be like, yeah, I did this for all of us. I think it would really mean a lot to them. I knew I wanted to play basketball in America, but I had no idea what to do, how to get to America. I was fortunate enough to play for my national team, so I had a lot of scouts see me. We got a tip that it was a really good physical big kid that would embrace who we were about defensively. When I came here, I had to become a good defensive player. The bigs back home, they were physical, but they weren't athletic. So I felt like I had one of the parts down, but the athletic part I was not ready for. His first two years, I, I think everything was just brand new to him. The pace of play, style of play, being away from home. You know, he was just trying to keep his head above water. It's been hard being away from family back home. But the Virginia basketball family, people of Charlottesville within the community, have been so welcoming to me. He grew extremely close to his teammates, some of his best friends to this day. These schools bring in the best players every year. To play against those guys, you have to have a mindset of not being afraid. Hell, the kid grew up playing rugby, so uh, he wasn't going to back down from anybody. He does a lot of the thankless jobs on the floor, diving for loose balls, he screams. He's the big brother to everybody, especially to all the, the first years. You know, they all look up to him. He, he provides leadership. It was an honor to be named captain last year. I tried to leave my team with experience. I've been here for a while. I think I've got a good idea of what it takes to win. Day three of the tournament, and the top seeds have arrived. Jack Salt and the number one seed Cavaliers take on NC State and Markel Johnson. Will the Wolfpack keep up their postseason momentum against the stingy Wahoo defense? It starts right here. The action's going to be fast and furious early on. Johnson takes it inside, but the help side defense arrived from Salt. Good defense, altering the shot. Got a lot of my family here. The play in front of him was an amazing experience. Guy pulls up three-pointer off the mark. Salt tracks it down in the corner, though. Now Salt puts it on the floor, attacks up and under, lays it in with a foul. Where did that come from? Jerome takes the pass, feeds to Salt. He goes into the air and count another one with a foul. We have traveled 8,000 miles to get here. We don't see Jack play a lot. When we do, we always say, play hard, play strong, and dunk, 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 <laughs> dunk. Salt on the hand off to Guy. No look feet on the back door. Feed to Salt, who sends it down with a thunderous dunk. The final seconds will tick down, and the top-seeded Cavaliers are going to the ACC Tournament Semis for a fifth time in six years. These two guys were terrific today. I even joked with the guys, I said, I think I'm going to do a haka in the locker room the way Jack played. Family support is crucial for any college athlete. And international players like Florida State's Chris Kumaji make time to connect with their families across oceans and time zones. What right, about? Oh, beautiful. Oh, what's up? Chill, me down. Wait, wait, but I bought him on Alice Simple said, too. My motivation is my mom back home. I wanted to have a better life. Chris Kumaji and the Florida State Seminoles come into the tournament hot, but have a tough test in Virginia Tech, who were dominant in their opening game. In the closing minutes, the Hokies are holding on to a slim lead. Well played defensively by the Hokies. They lead by one, 37 seconds left of the ball game. Last year puts up the shot, foul, shot goes through. It's 18.6 seconds to go. Blackshear, the hero of the hour. 
Blackshear triggers. It's no good. Coles have a chance. We have no timeouts, though. 17.6 seconds to go. Cope in the corner. Lobs to feed. Triple lots. No good. Rebound. Battle four. And knocked out of bounds by the Hokies. We knew we had one shot to take, and it had to be a three. But four. Shove the ball. Catch. Shoot by Vassell. Good shot with 4.5 seconds to go. And a half-court buzzer beater. No good. We're going to overtime. How about Devin Vassell? The last minute was crazy. Baseline spin on Outlaw, secondary spin, fall away, no, and Ahmed Hill has the rebound. Hill trying to go all the way to the bucket, no, but Black's here, able to dump it back in on the follow. 60 to 58 tech. Kevin Gelly puts up the shot and scores the basket. 60 to 60. Three on the way from Nikhil, front iron, and a deck by through. Catch, shoot, triple. Good shot, tie the gear. 63 all. Alexander Walker drives, throws it up. No, and he did it with 10 seconds to play. 63, 63, and I saw him kick it to Terrence. I'm running back um, on offense, and I kind of see that they're jogging back. So I try to penetrate in there and get a layup. He dribbled, went it to me, and I just put my hands up. He had a crazy two bounces on the rim, and we just came up a little short. Knowles win, Knowles win, Knowles win in overtime. Florida State advances to the semifinals. We'll play Virginia tomorrow. The guys have been resilient. Uh, they keep finding ways to win. We hit big shots when we have to make them. We get stops that have been necessary, and that just says a lot about the character of this team. We have seen Virginia, we have seen Florida State both move on to the semifinals and ready to see which one of these two teams will join them. Carolina for the first 15 minutes of the game, their pace was incredible. Heels up six and on the move. White down the center of the court to the cup, give it to him and one. Johnson a quick triple other way, why not? Last. Eight, 10 minutes, we're trying to get back in the game. Reduce the deficit from 10, 12 down to maybe a couple possession game. Kicks left corner, open three by Sutton goes. Reverse layup, good by Kristen Cunningham. Bounce pass, good dish underneath for a throw down by Williams. The little trails by six. They came back and then I thought our defense got two or three turnovers in a row. Attack, attack, attack. Under control. That's what we talk about all the time. 76-61, largest lead for the Heels. Missed three. Luke May with the rebound. A strong challenge from Louisville. Carolina handles that challenge and will advance to the semifinal round. The Spectrum Center is jam-packed tonight as the Orange take on third-seeded Duke. After tonight, the semifinals of this tournament will be set. I'm excited. It's a great environment to play in. High-pressure game. It's what you come to college for. I always knew I wanted to you know, be a basketballer, and both my parents played, and I was kind of growing up around the sport. When I was 16, I remember getting up there and you know, kind of getting a true taste of what it's like to be a professional player. I had these three schools that I visited. I had other pro teams reaching out in Australia. And then Duke came along. I remember that phone call, and I, I just couldn't believe it. It was like a dream come true. You know, once I got to campus, I was so scared. You know, obviously, it's Coach K. The great challenge was an international player coming in and meeting him in person, trying to find my spot, how I fit in, adjusting to the American game. When Jack first arrived, it kind of took him a while to get the feeling of ACC play. He hadn't experienced the grind of the tournament. The ACC is the best conference in the US, and every day, playing against that level of competition is really going to bring you up. And you come in and you have great teammates. They're looking after you as a young player. You know, you're around a completely foreign environment. It makes everything so much smoother. You know, I love coming in to practice every day and seeing these guys, spending time with coaching the other coaching staff. Over the two years, that's really prepared me for this bigger role this year. Jack White's role is to provide that leadership that constant source of energy and enthusiasm from a veteran player. I 
try to be vocal and then lead by example and pick guys up. When you bring in kids that have the talent, the one and dones, you need those good complimentary players. You need the glue guy that every big time Duke team has had, every national champion has had, and that's what Jack White is. In the final game of the day, Pascal Chukwu and the Orange square up against the third seed, Duke Blue Devils. Duke star Zion Williamson comes back after missing eight games with a knee injury. The most talked about player in college basketball makes his return on the biggest stage. And on Reddish, the longer player forced the pass and a steal by Zion. And a run out. And a right hand and a rack attack that sends this place into a frenzy. He just makes us better on both ends of the floor, especially in the zone tonight. He's a great target in the middle there and can really make plays. He just does it all. It's Carey trying to drive the baseline, looking for space. Williamson cut him off, took it away. It's a lob to Barrett to what's Zion! Flying in to rock the rim! This guy's bigger, stronger. There's not guys like him, but to come back the way we came back in that first half was a tribute to the toughness of these guys. As Howard trying to go coast to coast, lays it off the right window and in. And now Howard's got 19. I just pull up 17 footer. Bang! They on a right side three to bring the orange back within one. We just followed the game plan. Coaches do a good job putting up a game plan strategy for us. Hughes guarded by Delorier into the paint. Howard the lob to Chuku, and there's a dunk for Syracuse. It's win or go home. We just realized the situation we're in, and we're going to regret this later if we don't do this. Oh, man. And just trying to do whatever, you know, sacrificing my body, just going out there and playing hard. Spins into Delorier, looked like he almost walked, and then Williamson knocked it loose. Delorier had it, and then Chuku ran over Jones, and that's the end of the night. For Pascal Chuku, the seven foot two guy. Tough night for him after such a good night last night to help them get to this game. Uh, wasn't able to really get into it tonight due to all the foul issues. Here's Jones on the left for three again. That one short. Zion on the offensive board. Puts it off the left window for two more. And an impressive performance for Duke tonight as Zion Williamson returns in dominant fashion. 13 of 13 from the field. And they win it 84 to 72. Could be your last ACC game. Does that make you think about stuff like that? Because we just had senior and we just lost. You know, I just went in there to try to play as hard as possible. I just wasn't in there long enough to do so. I was born in South Chad, the city. It was not stable in my country. So my mom thought it would, would be great to go to Senegal. When I moved in Senegal, I played basketball. I met this coach and he told me that if I come and practice with him, he'd give me a chance to get a scholarship and come to the United States. And about five months later, he gave me a scholarship. We on the top to start the game. And with this musical change, when I first got here, the way everything is, like, you know, the houses, you shock, like, I didn't know where to go. Basketball-wise, I was so much behind. I didn't know any plays. It was just too much to, like, you know, process. There's so many kids back home that are looking for chances like this. Knowing where I come from, I couldn't just give up on that, you know. I had something to fight for. That really was always the back of my mind. We realized that Chris was a very good athlete. The game obviously was a little fast for him early on. We thought that with work and proper coaching that he could develop into a guy who could be a factor in our program. Coach Hamilton worked with me on my skills. He was really familiar with the seven furs start coming together at some point. He does a very good job in impacting the game. I'm the backbone of the defense, being big in the lane, 
blocking or contesting shots. I was that vocal person, just motivate everybody and get everybody going with the energy and set the tone. From Chad, I'm probably the only guy playing at the NCAA level. Really huge for like, you know, kids back home because they can say, oh, they know somebody from Chad that's playing at this level. It's day four in Charlotte. For only the second time in over a decade, the semifinal round features all of the top-seeded teams in the tournament. With a chance to play for a championship on the line, Jack Salt and Chris Kamaji are looking to state their dominance early to propel their teams to victory. Chris Kamaji, a seven-foot-four-inch senior from Chad, Florida State's top shot blocker with 50, 144 in his career. Chris is a big guy. I'm just kind of mentally preparing myself for the battle that we're about to go into. Jack Salt had his game of his life last night. 18 points and six rebounds in that victory over NC State. Jack Salt. I love competing against him. He's a guy who's ready to play every night. You know, he's bring the fight. I'm not trying to think too much, just trying to stay in the moment, win the tip, get my team, you know, well. Jack Salt will jump against Chris Kamaji and we'll get this game underway. The ball is in the air. The tip is controlled by Chris Kamaji. Man into the front court, lobs the pass up for Kumaji, who dunks it over Jack Salt on the alley -oop. Guy touches, top of the circle, no look pass, the Salt shot is getting good. Almost a block, but not enough, and it's 6-5 to five on the Salt layup. You get into this part of the year in this postseason and the defense cranks up, the physicality increases, it was hard fought. We knew it was going to be a physical matchup. It's a full out brawl to the last second. Kyle Guy tries to break down man, dribbles to the lane, puts up the shot, box shot by Kamaji. Devin Nichols to Al, you slam dunk Kamaji. Here's Kyle Guy, quick three-pointer on the other side, and he cans it from straight on. They have an offensive system that extremely difficult to defend. Anytime you make a mistake, they make you pay. Zips the pass to Salt. Salt, little floater. He uses the left hand and gets that one to drop. Throws Kamaji with the eyeballs and then the quick release. Timeout used by Florida State, and Virginia pulled back to within two points here. Coach Pam told me before the game, this is the reason why you came here to play in games like this and be a part of something special. And I just really took that to heart. Puts the ball on the floor. DeAndre Hunter covers, puts up the step back jumper. It is good. Nice shot, David Nichols. He gets a deuce. Dribble drive, puts up the shot, and the lane scores the basket. He scored six in a row. And this is a steal by, by David Nichols. Dribble drive, Bob's weave. It's David Nichols on the right side of the lane. Puts up the shot. It is good. Nichols has scored eight points out of the last 11. Nichols was so good tonight. You know, even at times when we did guard him, he just made some shots in our face, and uh, he was rolling tonight. We have a deep bench. We had 10 guys play at least 11 minutes, I think. It's a great advantage that we have. Uh, up dribbles down the lane, shot challenge by Fionde Cabot Gelly. Hunter loses it right back, and now the pass ahead to Mann for the exclamation as he will send it down with a two-hand slam. Well, I was really happy, really proud. You know, as a group of guys, just, you know, having fun and playing hard. Start the dance a little. You'll hear the horn. Knowles win, Knowles win. Send number one home and advance to the championship round tomorrow. Playing for the championship was our goal at the beginning of the year. We felt all along that we were capable, but we had to go and earn it. And I feel fortunate that we're here. Tough to go out like that. I'm a little bit upset. The ACC is the best conference in America. It's been a challenge for me here. Coming from New Zealand, I think it's pushed me as a person on and off the floor, and I don't regret my decision at all. It's the greatest rivalry in college basketball, Duke and North Carolina. The Tar Heels won both regular season meetings this year, but Duke's freshman superstar Zion Williamson couldn't play in either contest due to injury. With Zion back to full strength, all the pieces are in place, and the matchup we've all been waiting for can now begin. 
You always ask for it. You always say you want to play them again. Well, here we go. Two great coaches, two great teams. It's one of the toughest tickets you can find here tonight in the ACC semifinals. It will either be Duke or North Carolina as Florida State with the shocker of the tournament knocked off Virginia. We just dream about being on this stage every year, every game. It brings it some new intensity. Everybody here in Charlotte is on their feet awaiting the tip. It'll be Brooks and Williamson. A lot of energy in the building. Sends it left corner to Williamson. He'll pass it up to Jones. Shot clock down to one. Jones fires a three. No good. He'll push the base. Williams, Johnson, long two from the left. Nothing but net. Now Cameron Johnson came out so hot. And he's such a terrific player. High post Johnson pulls up for the long two. Johnson with 14 of Carolina's 22. Covers back to Cam, another three. Oh, that one was for really deep. We went out there and we were fighting the whole time. We knew that's what it was going to be, a fight. Williamson guarded by Little in transition. Gets all the way to the cup. The layup spins off. Two teams battle for the board. It goes to Kobe White. I missed a fast break layup, and I was very upset about that. But we've been training for this since I was four. Man, I feel like I just lived for this. Top of the key, now to the right in Williamson. A good look from three, and he knocks it down. Now into the post, and Williamson faces up and lays it in softly with the left hand. The guy that's been hurt came back and put on his Superman jersey again, and we couldn't stop him getting the basketball inside. Frankovich, the lob, tie on the stop. The defense of both teams was outstanding. It certainly lived up to the expectations of high intensity. All even at 44 apiece, 20 minutes to go on this one. The winner gets Florida State tomorrow in the title game. Barrett, a hop step, up and under the lefty push shot is good. Kobe White splits a double team and shoots it from down on his hip. Jones on the right, penetrates down the lane to lay. Reddit has it knocked away by Kobe White. Can't finish, little sure can on the putback. Tied up at 52. Side. Give it to Zion. Reverse dunk. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Line up though quickly the other way. It'll get a dunk on that side. Now a steal by Zion. Run it behind the back to jam that thing home. Johnson turns for the lead. Yes, sir. By May, right to the hoop to lay it Johnson in. Johnson gonna go to the rim. Took hard contact and won. Zion in on Brooks. Put it off the window. He'll have a chance for three, and it's blocked by Zion. The rebound for Jones and a chance for Duke to take the lead. 43 seconds to go in this one point game. You know, Coach called in the huddle. He was like, RG, you're going to get it. We thought they would try to like deny me the ball, so we wanted RG to go and take the basket. Jones, a bounce pass for Barrett. Faces up. RG ready very well. Hand me the ball. Now a handoff for Zion Williamson, top of the key. We're behind my back and spun. I try to bank it in, but. Looking to drive, crosses over into the paint. Spins up. Bounced off, but I use my second jump. Ball. Up on Little, can't get it. Tap follow! Somehow I took it in. Puts Duke back in front. Here's North Carolina, 26 seconds to go. 74 to 73. Duke with the lead. May for Johnson. We're trying to get Kobe back door. He covered it pretty well. Looking inside. And they're getting the space that I wanted. 17 seconds left. Johnson step back three. I felt great coming off the hand. Could have bet a thousand dollars right there that that shot was falling. It just didn't. Nine seconds left. Here's Kobe White up the right side. Seven and six. Five and four. 30 feet out. Three and two. Step back. Fade away. Three. Rattled out. And the Blue Devils win it. 74 to 73. Zion Williamson, the hero. He goes for 31. And it's on to the championship game tomorrow night against Florida State. Vintage ACC, Duke Carolina. You've got to be proud of each win, but you've got to maintain a level of hunger for the ultimate prize.
<laughs> it's championship Saturday, and it's FSU versus Duke. And what's it feel like to be playing for a championship? This is what you want to be a part of, try to win an ACC tournament championship. A lot of teams don't get to experience this. With 13 games in the books, the finals are set. After pulling off the upset of the tournament, Chris Kumaji and the Knowles are ready to take the title. But they have to go through Zion and the Blue Devils in order to get it. Duke is playing in half of the title games in the history of the ACC. Florida State has won 14 of its last 15 ball games. I mean, that is huge, particularly when you play in a conference as loaded as the ACC. Let's see if we end it well on a bang here in Charlotte tonight. Toss the ball in the air. The tip is controlled by Kamaji of the Seminoles and the basketball first. A lot of my fellow African came over here, didn't even get a chance to like play in ACC. Just being in this position and playing in a, such a big state, all uh, the sacrifices paid off. These guys are all like my brothers. You know, I'd do anything for them. I know they do the same for me. Makes you hungry to, you know, put it all out there when you play. Man, a kick out for Kofer. Top of the key for three. It is short. Oh, Kumaji, it looked like he was in the cylinder, but they counted on a dunk. Zion Williams and Bob Wee Smith puts up the shot. He's fouled. It will not go. He's harmed by Chris Kumaji. Those two will go at each other. Bob Wee puts up the shot. Alley oop, slam dunk. They made it difficult for us to make entry passes. Duke will inbound the ball. Pass is over, though. Take it away. Down the court, Devin Bassell. Behind the back, Tris. Kevin Kelly flushes, and there is harm. They knocked us back initially, and then we scored off of our defense. There's a double, double team trap, and he threw it away. Down the court, Duke. Barrett's going to stuff with a left hand. And Trent Forrest put up a 50 foot jump shot. No good. Back of the iron, rebound one by Trey Jones. Duke wants to run. Pretty good look. Down the court, Williamson goes up for the two handed stuff. Look out. Nothing settled yet. Timeout, Florida State. And halftime, it's it's tied. Tied at 36. Blue Devils looking for their 21st ACC championship. Florida State looking for their second. We really emphasize at halftime to come out and punch them first. The outlet pass for Zion, weaving through traffic, put it off the window, and down to give Duke the lead. Backing in on Delorier, blocked from behind by Javid. Jones the hit ahead for Zion, racing up the right side. Into the paint, a hot step and a scoop for two. They imposed their will, their physicality on us, and, and we did not match it. Zion the rebound, long bounce pass to Jones, reverse layup good. Man fell down. He's in a world of trouble, and RJ took it away. Four on two. It's Jones the lob, and RJ soaring in to throw it down. Blue Devils up by 14. And a timeout for Florida State. 11, 11 to go, and the Spectrum Center is rocking as the Blue Devils lead it by 14. We had given them a, a good blow and got a double-digit lead. Then all of a sudden, they came right back. V. Kevin Gully triple. Good shot, V. Nichols driving the left side, kicks it back outside. A touch pass for Kevin Gally on the right, and he hits another three. I was going to go home. Teammates know for what I've been through. I want my mom back home to have a better life. I've got something to fight for. Nine on the shot clock, and Trey Jones gets the ball into the side. Here's another block shot, and the Seminoles take it down the court. Trent Forrest takes his pass, puts the shot up. It's on a roll, tipped up on the head by a trailing Terrence Mann. Florida State getting closer and closer. It's very likely that none of us will be on a team like this ever again in our career. Everyone believes in coach, the coaches believe in us, and I think it's a really great dynamic that we have right now. It's Jones driving inside, rising up, and hitting! to give Duke a nine-point lead. Triple team kicks out for Delorier. Four to shoot, it's Reddish for three. Rattled around and went in to stretch the lead to 12. Nichols looking to drive, he has a lane. Down blocked by Jack White. Get that out of there. And here comes Zion barreling through traffic all the way to an ACC title for Duke. The confetti flies as they knock off Florida State 73 to 63 to claim their 21st in school history. It's really been a long ride. 
what I've learned and developed as a player, just gonna build us as men on and off the court. And Zion Williamson is the star in the Queen City as the King claims his throne. And Mike Krzyzewski has his 15th tournament title. There's nothing like winning a championship together, especially a championship representing the Atlantic Coast Conference. When you're out, a little kid watching Duke on TV, cut down nets, championship nets, when you actually grow up and get to be a part of it, I mean, that's why we come to Duke. Uh, win championships and try to get banners. Pascal finished his senior season ranked first in block percentage and looks to play professional. Jack Salt and Chris Kamaji played in the 2019 NBA Summer League, competing for spots on an NBA roster. And Nick Popovich and Jack White will return to the ACC for their senior season. The ACC had multiple teams make deep runs in the NCAA tournament, capped off with Virginia winning the national championship for the first time in school history. The ACC has now won three of the last five NCAA national championships and 17 overall, more than any other conference. In the 2019 NBA draft, the ACC set records with six lottery picks and 10 first-round selections.